So this is a video I'm putting up. It's from 2016. I'm just going to use literally one or two frames of it. It shows a person trying very, very hard not to prove that what he's looking at in the sky is a lens flare. And the individual, subconsciously or not, shows a lot of intention to do this. So I'm going to be going forward and back in the frames. We go forward in the frames, you see the person is covered up the object. And I want to point out that the camera is compensating as he does it over time for the brightness change. When he does that, you see the light bursting through and doing all sorts of things. And it's slightly off center. Now we go over here and you're going to see it eventually go from behind his finger and you'll see amazingly things form between his camera and his finger. Right there. This dot this dot and this dot and who knows how many others in fact if we sit here and look really closely at every part of the screen image we may detect all sorts of phenomena showing up but any objects that confirm conform to this this and this position immediately have to be caused by being lens flares because they're between him and his finger they're not an object in the sky and it's a lie saying otherwise and of course this individual even if you showed this person these frames ignored this. So let's go back. You'll notice that the three dots, at least, are staying there. Now that could be an indication of something else, but in this case, it's an indication of three elements, probably a glass front and behind glass, and then the lens itself doing it. And you can see from here to here, you can see some slight movement, but you can also see the camera moving with his hand. This is why you mount something to a tripod and stop using your hand. You are not as uh, consistent as a chunk of metal that's holding a camera still. So yeah, every single thing in that image that's an aberration is literally between the person's finger and the camera. The individual refused to acknowledge that that was going on. Also, when you're doing this test, if you say you're seeing something in the sky, remove every other variable like the trees and just do the test correctly. And yes, if you see them all on the left side, come in from the right side instead and very slowly cover the sun until it's completely obscured to see it's a lens flare. Period, full stop, this individual proved to everyone else this is a lens flare unless they're true believers. It's not Planet X 2016. There is no such thing. And anybody who even subconsciously won't do this test, it's called a finger test, if they won't do a finger test correctly, that should be pointed out to them. Now, why am I doing this video? The individual has the opportunity to do that and confirm it's a lens flare, and that to confirm that there's, unless they're saying somehow and they're magically able to get an image through their own finger of some space object. It's not some hidden truth that you're discovering with your camera. It's not... NASA putting up holograms. You're simply fooling yourself because you're using pretty much a substandard camera for this work. Also, these people will say you can only see it through a camera, especially a cheap one, period, full stop. So they won't even believe their own eyes that show that this is not up there. If it only appears in a camera, it's an in-camera trick, right? Anyway, that's it for the day. I'm just doing this because I wanted to use this as an example. And yes, it doesn't matter how much proof you provide. If you don't want to, if you don't want to pay attention to it, you'll ignore it. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that. There is no such thing as Nibiru.